This is Grace Peng from the NCAR RDA. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of a sample dataset homepage. All of our dataset homepages contain the same elements and follow the same template with minor differences. For this demo, I'll use dataset 131.2, also known as the NOAA Series 20th Century Reanalysis 2C. Every dataset has a name and a dataset number that never changes. From the RDA homepage, you can always navigate to a dataset by typing it in its unique dataset ID number here, or you can find it by typing some keywords from the dataset title right here. While each dataset has a de designated data specialist to answer questions, it's courteous to read all the information that they have prepared here before contacting them. There are two ribbons with navigation tabs. The top set offer you RDA-specific functions. The second set offers you dataset-specific functions. Notice that the main dataset landing page automatically opens to the descriptions tab. This is another information-rich web page. Moreover, it's only a summary with links to more detailed information that you can also read. This is a speed tour, so you aren't expected to read and understand everything about dataset 131.2 yet. But the first thing I recommend is to read the entire page over and explore the links delineated in a blue font. The links with an arrow symbol open and close, while the other blue links take you to a separate web page. The abstract functions like the abstract to a journal article. It tells you the highlights about the data set so you can decide if you need to read further. Now don't be worried if you initially don't understand all the terms in the abstract or the data page overall. As you gain experience using this data, you'll find yourself understanding more and more. The temporal range is one of those pieces of machine harvested metadata I mentioned in the metadata video. Before you get started, be sure that the data set spans the time range you need for your research. Although all of the data products for this data set are available for the entire time span of 1850 through 2011, this is not true for all data sets. Check the update section to find out how often more data is added to this data set. Some data sets update daily, while others update irregularly or not at all. The variable table shows you all the variables or parameters found in this data set. The grid, the grid parameter table links tells you that the data comes in grid format and which grid code tables you should use with this data set. We offer the information in human readable HTML and machine readable XML formats. Not every variable is available on every vertical level. Click on the detailed metadata link for specifics. You can view this information by parameter or by vertical level. Now expand the spatial coverage link. Notice that the coverage and grid spacing can vary between data products within the same data set. Data contributors can be a single author, a small team, or an agency with a large team. Hover over the green text to expose the long names of the contributors. If this data set has an entry in the NCAR Climate Data Guide, we'll provide the link here. Related resources can be information specifically about the data set, or more general information the data set specialist thinks would be of interest or useful to consumers of this data set. To dig deep, read the publications for details of how this data set was prepared. Modern scientists cite their data, and we give you a widget to help make this task easier. Just select your desired format and cut and paste the auto-generated citation into your document. In a separate video, I will explain the why and how of citing data in more depth. We also provide the data citations in RIS and BibTeX format for users of those data citation programs. 
Data Formats reveals that this data set comes in GRIB1 format. Click on the link for more details about the GRIB1 data format. Related RDA datasets lists only those related datasets that are hosted at the RDA. They can be similar datasets like these other reanalyses here. They can be predecessor datasets or past versions of this dataset or they can be precursor datasets that were assimilated to produce this dataset. More details will also take you to the detailed metadata page I showed you earlier. All blog posts related to this dataset can be viewed at this link. Now let's go back up to the top. Explore the documentation tab for more information. The software tab contains links to useful software tools for working with this data set. When you are ready, click the Data Access tab to download a sample. I will explain the data download matrix and show you several ways to download data in separate videos. If, after reading all of this information, you have further questions, don't hesitate to contact the data specialist by email or phone. Thank you for listening.